very good morning friends so i hope you are all safe and healthy well i have been discussing a lot of inputs on indus 101 that is first time adoption of indus and i've been dealing with appendix d in the couple of previous videos and in this video also we are discussing another aspect of appendix d and that is dealing with the concept of long term foreign currency monetary item just to remind you that this particular appendix is dealing with certain optional exemptions related to the other indias which means other than business combination because the appendix c is dealing in terms of business combination now for this particular exemption we need to understand the previous provisions which were there in the previous gap in terms of accounting standard 11 and that is the para number 46 and the para number 46a because based on what we were doing now the exemption has been given so i'm going to deal with both the issues i'm going to first of all remind you what was given in terms of as 11 and then we'll see that at the time of opening indus balance sheet how are we going to deal with this issue let's find this out in detail in this video an academy par ca final ke liye iconic batches shuru ho chuke hain in iconic batches ke andar aapko plus courses ke jo features the wo features ke ilawa kuch aur additional features milenge to main pehle aaj aapko inke bare mein thoda sa ek update deta hu सबसे पहले तो आपको इस आइकॉनिक बैचेस के अंदर मिलेगी लाइव मेंटरिंग प्लेटफॉर्म एल एम पी हालांकि ये फीचर अभी इसके अंदर आप देख सकते हैं बहुत सी चीजें आपको मिलेंगी जैसे कि इसके अंदर आपको नंबर वन बुक्स मिलेंगी खासकर सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट बच्चे के पढ़ने के लिए उसकी बुक्स होती हैं तो आपको हार्ड कॉपी फॉर्मेट के अंदर बुक्स मिलेंगी फॉर एवरी सब्जेक्ट इवेल्युएशन टेस्ट आपके होंगे और इन इवेल्युएशन टेस्ट के अंदर आपको एक पर्सनलाइज फीडबैक दी जाएगी आप कनेक्ट कर पाएंगे डाउट सॉल्विंग प्रोफेशन के साथ और जो प्लस कोर्स के आपके फीचर्स होते हैं वो सब आपके प्लस कोर्स के फीचर्स रहेंगे ये एडिशनल फीचर्स आपको मिलेंगे इस आइकॉनिक बैच के अंदर तो जैसे कि मैंने आपसे कहा कि इवेल्युएटेड टेस्ट सीरीज है वो ऑलरेडी लॉन्च हो चुका है और इन इवेल्युएटेड टेस्ट सीरीज के अंदर आपके साथ एक सर्टन रेशो में 40 देन अनदर 40 एंड देन 20 परसेंट एक बड़े सिस्टमेटिक तरीके से टेस्ट सीरीज कंडक्ट की जाएंगी और इन टेस्ट सीरीज के अंदर आपको सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट एक पर्सनलाइज फीडबैक दी जाएगी जब आप अपनी तैयारी करते हैं तो उस तैयारी की एक असेसमेंट बहुत जरूरी होती है आफ्टर ऑल इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ योर लाइफ टाइम आप इस प्रोफेशनल एग्जामिनेशन को पास करके ही अपना कैरियर बना रहे हैं तो अपने कैरियर पर कोई कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं करना चाहिए और इस के आइकॉनिक बैचेस के सब्सक्रिप्शन के अलग अलग प्लान्स हैं अगर आप सिर्फ ग्रुप वन के प्लान्स कर रहे हैं सिर्फ सब्सक्रिप्शन के तो उसके 12 मंथ्स 24 मंथ्स और 36 मंथ्स के अलग अलग प्लान्स हैं और इसके अंदर आपको उसकी मंथली जो कॉस्ट बैठेगी वो आपको दे रखी है ये सेम सब्सक्रिप्शन प्लान आपको कॉस्ट करेंगे अगर आप ग्रुप टू की सब्सक्रिप्शन प्लान करते हैं और अगर दोनों ग्रुप प्लान कर रहे हैं तो आपको फर्दर रिडक्शन मिलेगी यानी अगर आप सिर्फ ग्रुप वन लेते हैं तो वो भी अवेलेबल है सिर्फ ग्रुप टू प्लान कर रहे हैं वो भी अवेलेबल है और अगर आप इन दोनों के कॉम्बो ऑफर्स प्लान कर रहे हैं वो भी अवेलेबल है एंड ऑफ कोर्स उन पर आप टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट अवेल कर सकते हैं मेरा कोड इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं सी ए के बी टेन जिन पर आपको इन प्लान की कॉस्ट पर टेन डिस्काउंट मिलेगा तो आइए मिलकर लेट्स क्रैक इट वेल एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चार्ट what i have done i have summarized the provisions of the para number 46 and the 46a of accounting standard 11 now if you recall the provisions in terms of accounting standard 11 there were basically two options which the accounting standard 11 was giving let's say for example if you acquire let's say you've taken a loan for the purpose of acquiring a ppe and there is a foreign exchange gain or loss which arises on account of that loan so one of the options available was that we could have adjusted the cost of the ppe itself 
So any foreign exchange gain loss arising on that foreign currency loan was adjusted against the PPE cost or the intangible assets. Now, what is indirectly happening? That this foreign exchange gain loss was getting transferred to the profit and loss over a period of time in the form of, you can say, the depreciation or the amortization over the life of the asset. And in case we had taken a general loan, then in those particular cases, any foreign exchange gain or loss was getting recorded in terms of FCMITD account. That's called the Foreign Currency Monetary Item Translation Difference Account. In that particular case, the difference used to be amortized over the period of the loan. Now, these were two options which were given. And then there was another option as well. And the other option was in terms of taking the entire difference to the profit and loss account itself. So that means the accounting standard 11 gave us a choice that you can either take the foreign exchange gain loss in the PL or you could adjust it to the cost of the asset if it was a loan for a PPE or it was supposed to be taken in the FCMITD account, foreign currency monetary item translation difference account. Now, this was a complete irrevocable option that you could choose option one and you could choose option two. Now, many entities would have taken option one. That means they would have taken the foreign exchange gain loss in terms of PL. Now, if that be the case, this is absolutely in consonance with the end is 21. Because even as per index 21, if you've got a foreign exchange gain or loss, that is going to be simply taken in the PL. So for companies who have got existing loans where they have taken option number one, they could continue with Indus 21. And even if you're taking new loans, you need to apply Indus 21 itself. But what happens to the companies, you know, who've taken the option number two? In that particular case, the optional exemptions in the Appendix D allows you to continue with the same accounting policy but that's only for the existing loans where the option number two was taken so we can say that if you see an entity which has got an existing loan and it availed the option number one or they've taken a new loan you are required to apply indus 21 because you were already doing something which is absolutely in agreement with indus 21 but what happens for the loans which you know are existing loans where you either created an FCMITDA account or you have adjusted it to the PPE. For those particular loans, you can continue, you may continue with the same accounting policy which was done. But of course, when you're going to take new loans post the transition date, then you need to follow Indus 21 itself. So that makes the position absolutely simple in terms of foreign currency monetary items. So this is the treatment which was done in IGAP accounting standard 11. And what do you need to do in terms of the opening index balance sheet for the purposes of the index 101? That's all in this particular video. Wait for some more interesting videos coming on 101. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye.